beautiful Taurus. I'm Rena Wells, your Divine Goddess Oracle, and I am your going to be doing your reading here for May 1st to the 15th. So if you are new, welcome. Please hit the subscribe and notification button so you don't miss out. I totally believe you've been guided here for a reason. And if you are returning, please know my subscribers, I'm consistently holding a beautiful intention in every reading that I put out there so that we can bridge heaven and earth together and continue our healing tribe. So guys, if you don't know, I'm doing the gypsy spread. This is an ancient spread that was devoted to me, given to me, divulged to me when I was only eight years old. Um, I'm not a gypsy, but I met a gypsy lady at the cottage. And um, we're going to do that with the romance angels. I don't know, never done it with this, but uh, Spirit guided me to do this. So this is for all Taurus, please. Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and all cross watchers, May 1st to the 15th, guys. This is general. Take it as it resonates. Remember, the roles can be reversed. Um, I am channeling very generally as much as I possibly can with Spirit gives me. If you would like something more specific, take a look at my booking site down below. There's also a bunch of reviews if you want to see exactly what people are saying about me. All right, this is Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus for Taurus Spirit. Thank you for love, for all divine counterparts, twin flame soulmates, whatever you want to call it. You know who you're connecting to. And this is for May 1st to the 15th. I do call it twin flames. Um, whoever you're meant to be with in this life. Okay, let's just say that. All right, Spirit, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and all uh, cross watchers. Thank you. Aho, May 1st to the 15th. Spirit says that is enough. Let's take a look, guys. Ooh, I'm hearing a high beeping sound. Some, something's coming through here. That hasn't happened in a long time. All right. So we're doing the gypsy spread. Let's take a look here. This is how all the energies are currently interconnecting. The center is the main message spirit wants to give you. And then it is a ripple effect of how it's affecting energies around that situation and what wants to come in. Okay. Get out. <laughs> Seriously, that only happened with one other sign, and I don't remember who it was. Oh, my goodness. But release your exes here, so we know that's here. So there's something going on here, Taurus. I'm sorry, guys. You may want to just, you know, skip past this a little bit. Oh, it happens, eh? It happens. This is a very intricate, delicate spread, I guess. You know, the cards have to somewhat fit tight and close together. All right. So, wow. Spirit wants you to make the effort to free yourself, Taurus, okay? Somebody needs to free themselves and release their ex here, okay? So that this vibration, a heightening of this vibration can come in. Keep things very light and airy so that true love can truly come in, okay? If this is a true love situation, we're going to take a look at the bottom of the deck as well, but I'm just going to read this first. There is a true love situation that's coming in, but I'm feeling the majority of Taurus that I'm, I'm picking up here is that this was soulmate connection. You could have soulmate and kar karmic in one as well, and I'm feeling that you need to make the effort to really free yourself from the situation or who, if it's your other person really needs to make the effort in freeing themselves from a situation and releasing the act so that this vibration can heighten keep it very light and airy because the, a true love situation definitely wants to come in so what i'm getting here if you're dealing with you know a twin flame or a divine counterpart that's in a third party situation or you're the third party situation this connection cannot heighten until there needs to be a letting go here, okay? So a letting go needs to happen on both ends, especially if it's twin flame. What you do, they mirror, okay? So if you need to let go and move forward into your into um you know your life so that true love can, can filter in, you need to make the effort to free yourself from this so that the vibration can heighten. It's coming to a higher level of commitment. Keep it very light and airy. Try not to get bogged down by the energies and so that you can release this person. Now, if it's the other person, okay? Okay, who's in a committed situation they need to for true love to come in they need to release this person so that it can heighten okay now if you are already in a committed situation there's something that's happening and you got to make the effort to free yourself okay um either from a past relationship that's coming into your present relationship that's affecting your relationship because it is a true love situation somebody hasn't gotten over somebody else and the healing hasn't been completed that needs to happen okay or you're in a in a toxic situation and you need to break up with this person so you can level up and allow true love to come in okay um if you are with somebody and it's releasing someone from the past that needs to happen and the healing needs to happen so this can come forward okay overall energy love yourself first spirit wants you to put you first not anybody else okay because very soon this can change and a reconciliation can happen so 
Okay, the freedom when you when you do this work, okay, and you let go. And I love, there's a lot of letting go coming in May, okay? And letting go doesn't necessarily mean that you don't love this person, you cut them out and you never talk to them again. Letting go is just letting go of the situation, letting go where the vibration is right now. It's not a healthy vibration, guys. That doesn't mean that you're letting the person go. It's like, you know what? The vibration that this person chooses to be in, or I, it's because when I decide to be in that situation too, I'm lowering my vibration. And it comes to the point where it's like, you know, I, we got, somebody has to let go of this vibration because the vibration is keeping everybody stuck. So whatever the vibration is, spirit is not saying you don't free yourself of a person. Don't attach yourself to the physicality of the person. You're, you're freeing yourself of vibration. Okay. Keep it light and air so this can heighten. So true love can come to you. A reconciliation can happen. Okay. If you are in separation with the twin. Okay. But you've got to love yourself first. And this can happen very soon. You guys like really soon. All right. Let's clarify here. I need a sip of water. All right. All right. Let's clarify spirit. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. For all Taurus, please. And Venus and Cross Watchers from May 1st to the 15th, please, spirit. Please, can we clarify this reading here about making the effort to free themselves, okay? This is an imbalanced connection that's happening here, you guys. All right. So let's take a look. This is free yourself from an ex. So, you know, true love can come back. Um, a reconciliation spirit may 1st to the 15th please can you please clarify here for taurus sun moon and rising for venus and all cross watchers please spirit what is going on clarify that make the effort to free yourself spirit because it's a yeah look at this the tower moment things are falling apart okay things have been juggling for way too long taurus this is you here you've been juggling this way too long and you know what you're really tired of the secrets okay things are being withheld from you you're using intuition you know that it's time it's time it's time to free yourself from this situation trust that look there's imbalance it's exactly what i was saying there's an imbalance that's happening here okay um spirit wants you to trust that this is true love clarify the true love here clarify the true love this is true love that's happening okay but it's bring you're becoming illuminated okay that it is causing you heartbreak and a lot of conflict okay um it could be a third party situation for some there is you know you want this is an end of something of, of a cycle because you want new stability to come forward in a new love okay so you need to heighten yourself and let go clarify the release your ex here spirit We've got seven of swords that wanted to fall out on my hand. So things again, things are being shady. Things are being honestly communicated. There's something that someone is being left out in the cold is really what I'm getting. So release your ex. Clarify this releasing your ex. Yeah. Someone is hung about this decision. Okay. They are getting, they're stuck in their head about it. They're trying to see other perspectives on how to do this, but they're not being honest with how they're going to be doing this. And if they're even communicating it to you, but there will be fast. Uh, I feel spirit is saying, once you let go of this and you move forward, there's going to be some fast action towards this. Clarify the eight of wands. How is this going to be fast action and communication? Okay. Yeah. It's going to be fast, but yet stable. And, and this is, can be slow, but I feel it's more of a stable accelerated motion it's not like whoa, really quick and like kind of all over the place it's like it's fast but it's it's got a grounding stability energy to it in order to move towards being single so this person whoever is ha releasing an ex okay who's in a toxic situation this needs to happen right so right now to free yourself spirit is saying that get out of the mind being to start stop deceiving yourself with all these different types of uh ideas that you're getting okay Choose one and move. You just know you need to move on. That's really what it is, okay? Spirit is saying, you know, love yourself first here. Clarify this spirit for Taurus. Love yourself. This is all about putting yourself first, Taurus, okay? Yeah, for 10. For looking for union and something stable. You can't, listen, you've got to give yourself union first and stability and the abundance before that vibration can ever come to you. That's what I'm talking about vibration. This vibration, I'm not talking about releasing the person. You got to release the vibration. You got to be willing to not want to play in that type of vibration. This is what I coach people out of. You get way attached to the person. It's about the vibration that you're willing to sit in. Like, how are you owning your divinity? If you're sitting in this, in this type of vibration, how are you going to manifest amazing abundance in your life? 
if you're sitting in that type of vibration. Spirit wants you to own this vibration of unity, of foundation, of stability, of abundance in yourself and love yourself first. So this can then come to you, okay? And very soon, Spirit says this can come to you, a reconciliation. Clarify the reconciliation. Look at this, okay? contemplation of how to move forward and quickly moving forward. Once you make those plans, quickly move forward. We've got the two. This is putting plans in place, realizing, writing down ideas, how you're going to do it. Take the hand, hang band ideas. Start putting it. Be honest with yourself, okay? Start putting it into action, like write out a plan and then quickly move with the chariot to move towards doing the stability for yourself, union with yourself, loving yourself, choosing a new vibration for yourself, willing to, wanting to level up, guys, okay? Because whatever you're you're dealing with this person they're not ready to level up yet they're using you as a codependent that's how i'm seeing it and you got to be the one to move on so that a reconciliation can happen and a reconciliation is also finding yourself okay it's not just about with somebody else it's about the vibration of god christ consciousness buddha consciousness the divinity of the universe so that that can play into your life to bring you instant manifestation wayne dyer talks about instant manifestation when you think it it will come guys it happens okay i just got to think about what i want to make in a week i just got to say it to you and it freaking happens like it's not it seems like it's magic but it doesn't have to be hard okay but you have to be willing to do this work you've got to be willing to transition okay you've got to be willing to look at your dark things to clear it and to heal because there's cycles that are ending here clarify this reconciliation spirit because i feel it's a reconciliation of self they want you to sit back they want you to observe they want you to rest they want you to take a break from this connection because it's it's yeah and how to let go okay look at what you're hanging on to because you're hanging on to certain things yep yeah, they want you to six of swords mentally move on from from this situation okay Whew. wow and very soon this can happen okay clarify the very soon yeah, look at this divine masculine coming back, taking control of your life and being the emperor of your life very soon that this can happen. OK, let's take a look at the soul card journey cards here. OK, what is going on here? Spirit for Taurus, sun, moon and rising in regards to the soul journey. What healing lessons are coming out here for the soul? Please, spirit, can you please clarify for Taurus, sun, moon and rising? Please, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and all crosswalkers for May 1st to the 15th for all Taurus. Please, thank you, Spirit. What is the soul journey here, please, Spirit? What is going on, Spirit? The soul journey here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and all counterparts. Thank you, Spirit, for Taurus. May 1st to the 15th. This is May 1st to the 15th. Thank you. Spirit says that is enough. See any else? Yeah, that's enough. All right. Okay. A lot of pride here. Okay, Taurus, I know. Taurus can be pretty stubborn, you know? Spirit is like, really look at your pride. I know you don't want to be alone, and I know you feel like a failure, okay? These are the issues you've got to overcome, and you're having a lot of doubt, okay? Spirit is saying, and this is kind of interesting, to overcome all of this, just kind of step back. Step back. You're an aware soul. Step back. Okay, they're saying, watch your life as a movie. This is an inter interesting message before I put this card down, look at your pride, look at your ego, look at you not wanting to be alone. Okay. You're lonely. That's really what this is coming from. You fear of abandonment issues. Okay. You're looking at where you failed in your life. You're really shaming yourself. Really just what's keeping you stuck here in this vibration. If you notice these feelings are not just about you, the other person is feeling it too. You guys are matching in the vibration of pain. You're not matching the vibration of love and light. So this vibration definitely needs to heighten. You're also doubting the universe when you know you've been getting the signs of what you need to do. Okay. That's really what I'm getting now. Spirit is saying, they want you to sit back. They want you to observe this entire situation and find the humor in it. Spirit can have a bit of a narcissistic personality. Okay, guys, I'm just saying. Um, spirit, they sit up there and they laugh at us in our little human ways. It's not just about all life, love, and light, okay? They kind of sit back and they're like, oh, my God, watch this. I bet you they're going to make the same decision. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, let's guide them this way. And then what happens? Boom, it happens. And they're like, oh, my God, they picked the same thing. This is hilarious. And it's not that they're laughing at your pain, okay? They want you to see the humor in this as painful as, as it is, okay? Yes, we have to look at our pain. Yes, the pain comes in and the suffering comes in and we need to clear that out of our energy bodies. But Spirit says once you do that, just observe and sit back and watch how crazy the ego is and watch how it can be a lot of like really humor to it. They want you to bring more humor into your life and laugh about these things. Don't take things so seriously, Taurus. Sometimes Taurus takes things a little too seriously and then you get pulled into all this, you know, doubt and failure and all that. 
learn to laugh at yourself a little bit more. Okay, let go of all of that because this is, you know, they're saying if you can find your own, you know, laugh at your own self and 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 kind of look at this, um, it's going to help you a lot more in your life and it's going to help you heighten this vibration. That's the next step that you need to do. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the angel answers. Spirit, are there any other final messages here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please? And Venus and all cross watchers that are watching. Thank you, Aho. Any final angel answer messages, please? Spirit, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please. And for all cross watchers. Thank you, Spirit. This is for Taurus. Aho. May 1st to the 15th. Thank you. All right, let's see what else, what else other answers we got here. <laughs> we'll take the ones that have flipped up. We've got you're in recovery, okay? So this is a healing process. Unlikely things are going to happen in this connection right now. You need to ask for help from others. You guys want some coaching and advice? Hit me up. Fill out the application form. Um, definitely can help you out there. Once you ask for help, let your vulnerability, let your pride down, okay? That you need help and you need to open up to other people, okay? You can do that. The situation will improve, okay? Right now, it's very unlikely. They're saying no. Right now, it can't happen until you do this, until you until you really, you know, love yourself first, okay? You need to reconsider this connection and reconsider what you're doing is what I'm getting. Not necessarily the connection. Spirit is saying reconsider what you're doing in this vibration. Why are you not wanting to level up here, okay? They're like, listen to your intuition about this because, yes, Meditation will bring you the results that you desire, okay? It's not going to happen until you do the work, guys. Taurus, you're being called up. You're being called up, Taurus. That's it. Oh, one more. Yeah, right now is not the right time, okay? So not the right time because they, they want you to really recognize about the self-love aspect. They're saying to me that you've kind of run from one relationship to the next. Not all of it. But you have, and not right now, but in the near future, it can. So very soon, things can improve if you decide to do this, this deep work, okay? Okay, much love, you guys. Oh, Taurus, so many people are going through so much healing. But you know I'm here for you, so hit me up if you would like a reading or a coaching session or anything else and you want to just know more about me. All that information is down below. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending much love to you guys. Aho, bye.